Hello, my name is Pablo Montes, I'm part of Telefonica team and in this video I'll try to explain with some detail but still at a high level what is needed for the setup we use in our demonstration at Mobile Congress and the sequence of calls among all the modules that we are using. The first thing you need is a bunch of servers. For Mobile World Congress demonstration we are using five. You also need a switch to provide connectivity among them and to external networks and a switch for the Teplin intensive communications. Some of the servers will be configured to be used by OpenManu and others to be used by OpenStack. As you can see at the top, there is one that has not been configured to be used by OpenManu or using OpenStack. That one is the one we have reserved for all the control machines. In this control server, we have virtual machines running the different pieces of software that we need. Rift.io Launchpad, OpenManu, this is OpenManu and OpenBeam components, also a UU server, an OpenStack controller, and an OpenFlow controller. In this case, we are using OpenDaylight as OpenFlow controller. So now we'll see how these modules communicate among them to perform the deployment and configuration of the network services scenario that was shown in the demo. Okay, so if you remember the demo, the first thing we do is to deploy the three PEs. Okay, so using the launchpad, we are gonna request to open Mano component to deploy these three PEs. And at the same time, we are gonna tell you, you that it should create a three charms to control these three PEs that will be used later for configuration. Now automatically, open Mano component will tell open beam component to deploy because in this case, as we are requesting to deploy EPA uh, BNFs, we are deploying using the uh, OpenBeam data center. Okay, so OpenBeam component is deploying over these compute nodes, and then is requesting to the OpenFlow controller to establish the connectivity. Next thing that happens is that Rift.io requests to OpenMano component the, the management IPs of these deployed elements. And once that we have this information, we send it to Juju. So Juju can uh, provide this information, can insert this information in the charms, and they become ready to, to attack to the BNF instances to inject configuration. Now we have the three pieces deployed and we have to configure them. So using again Launchpad, we go to the configuration tab for the piece, and we say that we want to configure, for example, the domain service provider. Then the launchpad will request Juju to go to the to the three charms that has deployed, one for each PE, and to configure them. So Juju is gonna attack using the, the management IPs that uh, received before, is gonna attack to the running BNFs. Next, we'll see basically the same, but this time we are gonna select a different data center. We are also gonna select the OpenStack data center. So we'll start in the same way. Using the launchpad, we say that we want to deploy something, in this case, over a different data center. We request to open Mano component to do the resource orchestration, and we also tell Juju that we want to uh, we want it to create a charm to manage this uh, new element. In this case, we are deploying the IMS, that is the element that uh, during the demo we deployed over OpenStack. Now OpenMano, instead of telling OpenBeam, it tells to OpenStack to deploy the IMS. And the OpenStack controller attacks to the compute node uh, that will uh, be the host for the IMS. In the same way that happened before, uh, the launchpad requests OpenMano the, the IPs that uh, were assigned to the deployed elements. In this case, it was only one element, the, the IMS and then provides this information to Juju, so it's inserted in the, ch in the running charm. Next step will be to use Launchpad to, to configure the IMS. So what we do is we go to the, to the IMS configuration tab, and we set the, the domain name, we also add some users, and when we click the proceed button, uh, Rift.io is telling Juju that uh, should use the, the charm that is running in the Juju server, to configure the running machine, the IMS, using the IP that was provided before. And that's all the important stuff that is happening during the demo. And in, uh, in this video, I just 
explain how the three P's were deployed, how they were configured, how the AMS was deployed, and how it was configured. Uh, the P's were deployed over OpenBeam because we wanted them to be EPA, and the IMS was over OpenStack. Uh, in the in the demos you see the other video, or if you could attend to the Mobile World Congress and see the live demo, uh, we were doing much more stuff, but this was basically the same. We were deploying either in the OpenBeam data center or, or in the OpenStack data center. But it was just repeating once and again with different components, the, the PS, the traffic generator, uh, the gateways and all that. So that's all. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you. So thank you and goodbye.